Look here. What the if you want to catch wrong another with you? center bounty hunter, take a gander at the poster there. Nasty individual. That one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. Pound him to hell! Boy. you stepping in there those bastards been turned into screw on me from day one saying I gotta pay them protection money I told them where to stick it and well I guess you just saw how that panned out what happened to you two cowering like dogs you wouldn't give us no money, out of trouble Paul. This I'll is the try. worst idea I've ever had. We're with you on that. Time to go, boy. Willie weren't my sweetheart. He was a bully, okay? And he got what was coming. Now, you're gonna come over here and romance me. 
But it says there's other fellers. It says right there in black and white. <laughs> Y'all talking about Frank and Henry. of them. Don't you manhandle me. Comfortable enough for you? Come on, pal. Settle in. You got a ride ahead of you. situation but a big strong man like you you'd set me straight wouldn't you miss him? put me on the straight and narrow on the jailhouse. Anything else you want to try on me? Just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> yeah, we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I protect my innocence. She might be a little shaken up. She lost another feather out by the falls. Poor dear. Men just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? 
I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she could find herself a husband yet. Well, that's cowboys for you. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, fella. Looks like you need a lesson. Oh, Driscoll! Eat there! Don't you just want me to end it fast? Pathetic. This ain't happening. Wasting my time. Oh, keep trying. Might have just saved my life, stranger. You're a gentleman. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see to my aliens. They won't bother you no Thank more. Thank you, Mister. Really? If, if only there was more men like you, and less of them damn old Driscolls. Morning, partner. Mister? Cold beef at Moreno. So mine. 
medicine or a siphon. Oh, oh. Here, drink this. Oh, oh, medicine. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, you say. Like, Not that right. I owe you. I do. Oh. Oh. Now I, I got. Out of here. Shit. No. Oh. Oh. Don't much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? You, uh, uh, whatever do you want? <laughs> oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm, I'll... I mean, threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. You owe me money. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm, I'm not running anywhere. I'm... You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please, please, show some compassion. Please. Strauss told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? A little patience is all I require. <coughs> please, please, no. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <coughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. So your place? We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman? My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money.
Hi, Jack. Good morning, Arthur. How's the reading going? I'm getting better. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Hey, fella. Looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck around here. <laughs> yeah. Don't understand this at all. Hey, over here. <laughs> Senor, can I show you something? What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem for me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. No, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Mm. Well, good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes! Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of... <gasps> $10. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. <laughs> well, ten dollars, and it's yours. Ah, uh, 
What the hell? Why not? A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. Because if they did, they can get lost. <laughs> I've never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at. Balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What are you doing? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir! <laughs> <laughs> 